You know the city as the Big Apple, but soon this might turn into a city that sunk. A study published by the United States Geological Survey found that New York City is sinking at a rate of about 1 to 2 millimeters per year. But did you know that similar is the case with some Indian cities, including Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Vishakhapatnam? In this video, we will tell you what is causing these cities to sink. It is a phenomena called subsidence. But first, let's understand what subsidence really means. Subsidence is when land vertically sinks into the ground. This is a downward shift in the ground surface that can be caused by various reasons, including natural and man-made. In case of New York, it is spread roughly across 783 square kilometers, and there are over a million buildings in this city. According to the USGS, these buildings account for more than 762 million tons of weight. But this figure does not include the fixtures, fittings, or furniture inside these buildings. Nor does it include the transport infrastructure or the 8.5 million people that inhabit it. According to the study published, the city is sinking by 1 to 2 millimeters every year due to the pressure exerted on it by them. This number might not sound like much, but when you add the subsidence of the land to the rising sea levels, the collective number reaches to 3 to 4 millimeters every year. This, in future, can cause floods in the city. But even if you look back at the year 2022, New York was flooded in January, September, and December. Tom Parsons, the co author of the USGS study, said this is a common issue with cities around the world, and there is a definite link between urbanization and subsidence. Land subsidence is lowering of the altitude of our land surfaces or soil surfaces, irrespective of the reasons. Any, it could be any reason. It could be excessive withdrawal of the groundwater, which leads to the soil settlements. Uh, it could be because of soil naturally, because uh, is getting saturated and getting consolidated out of its own weight. Uh, it could be because of the massive construction which has taken place on top of soil which is leading it to the excessive pressure and soil is getting consolidated and it is becoming impervious over the years. For instance, parts of Jakarta, Indonesia are sinking nearly by a foot over the year. And similar is the case with many Indian cities. Land subsidence is seen in Mumbai, Chennai, Vishakhapatnam, Kolkata and many other cities. Uh, many cities, Indian cities even have reported the land subsidence. Recent case of uh, 2022, where Joshimat uh, case is also in front of us. Delhi has also has been observed that soil subsidence in some part of the city is taking place. And uh, reason could be excessive withdrawal of the groundwater on these places. So for Indian cities, even if they are not a coastal, coastal stretches, there is a issue of land subsidence, which is important. In a study published in 2022, titled as subsidence in coastal cities throughout the world, a significant portion of Mumbai is getting subsided more than 2 millimeters every year. This observation was made between 2015 and 2020. According to the study, groundwater extraction, mining, reclamation of natural wetlands, and ecological disturbances are the reasons why land is subsiding. And 77% of land subsidence is due to human activities, such as groundwater extraction, that plays a major role in this impending tragedy. So what are the solutions to tackle this issue? Experts suggest two ways. First is artificial recharge and second is deep soil mixing. Artificial recharge involves injecting water into depleted groundwater resources to replenish them. This would reduce the need for excessive pumping to prevent further subsidence. And second is deep soil mixing. This involves injecting stabilizing agents deep into the ground to reinforce soil. In this process, the soil is strengthened by using materials such as metal strips, geotextiles or geogrids. And this will help in preventing land subsidence caused by soil compression. So while these solutions sound really promising, there is a significant need for investment and planning to yet be implemented.